So oxygen isotopes in Greenland, we don't need to get into the, the technology, but basically you've got oxygen 16, o- oxygen 18. In an energetic environment, in warmer weather, there's more energy to evaporate ocean water. That more energy means that more of the heavy oxygen can get evaporated and then precipitated out as rain or snowfall. In colder times, you don't have the available energy, and so what happens is the ratio oxygen 16 to oxygen 18 in rainfall and snowfall changes because less oxygen 18 is being lofted out of the oceans, right? It was a 200-year roughly cold spell in the middle of the post-glacial climatic optimum. It was possibly three to four degrees, very sudden cooling. If it happened now, it would cause major disruptions to agriculture and agricultural crops and food production. It would probably, in fact, severely stress civilization. 